What's up, you sleaze-loving maniacs, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host, as always, Jay Schatzer, and today I have a fun, crazy Italian horror flick lined up for us. It is Mario Mancini's 1972 very crazy grindhouse flick. It is Frankenstein 80, a.k.a. Mosaic, and it's freaking crazy and sleazy and disturbing. So let's get right into the fun. Here is... Frankenstein 80. Frankenstein 80 aka Mosaic is a sick and twisted take on the classic Frankenstein tale with sex depravity and violence thrown in for good measure. Totally Italian and tremendously demented, this wild production boasts a healthy dose of gore and gratuitous mayhem, all lens in that sleazy early 70s style that cult classic lovers just can't get enough of. Ridiculously mean-spirited and ultimately batshit crazy, Frankenstein 80 aka Mosaic is a fascinatingly weird and frighteningly enjoyable horror flick that's got more than enough sleaze to please. The film follows a bad scientist named Dr. Otto Frankenstein, who has recently created a monster named Mosaic out of bits and pieces of human tissue and limbs. The only problem, though, is the monster is insatiable and filled with lust, not to mention totally out of its mind, sending it on a nightly bender of murder, mayhem, and violent sex. Hot on the heels of the mad doctor are news reporter Carl Sheen and police chief inspector Schneider, who are determined to stop the killings and bring the murderer of these heinous crimes to justice. Can the doctor overcome the odds and satiate his insatiable creation? Or is the world doomed to be constantly violated by the mad lust of Mosaic and Dr. Frankenstein's unhinged ambitions? In commendable fashion and resilient gusto, the cast of Frankenstein 80 is a smashing assortment of bit players and familiar faces, all livening up this randy horror romp with intensity and character, and a whole lot of charm. From lunatic killers to would-be heroes, the cast does a wonderful job in rolling with the weirdness of this Italian flick, and they all make great efforts in attempting at taming this untamable production. The super sleuths and sadistic psychos of this masterfully crafted sleaze fest are Gordon Mitchell as Dr. Otto Frankenstein, the mad scientist who accidentally creates the horniest monster in the entire world. John Richardson as Carl Sheen, a news reporter who is investigating a theft from a local scientist which is linked to the ongoing killings. Renato Romano as Inspector Schneider, a high-strung, balding chief of police who is in over his shiny head. Zero Papas as Mosaic, the deformed and horned-up Frankenstein monster who just wants to let loose and have fun. Dalila Di Lazaro as Sonia, Frankenstein's beautiful niece and target to Mosaic's lust-filled urges. And finally, Roberto Fizz as Professor Schwartz, a brilliant scientist who has his newest experience stolen by the diabolical Dr. Frankenstein. Totally weird and intrinsically freakish, the cast of Frankenstein 80 is a true treat, and they do a fantastic job with the bizarre material. When it comes to depraved spins on classic horror tales, none do it more perverse than Mario Mancini's Frankenstein 80. With its simple premise and decision to throw us right at the beginning of Mosaic the Psychotic Monster's mayhem-filled massacres, the film doesn't miss a beat and moves at lightning speed from one bizarre set piece to the next. The violence and debauchery of the production is fast and furious, and never dwells for a second on one moment, but just ramps up into the next ridiculous situation or blood-filled moment. The look and design of Mosaic the Frankenstein Monster is simple yet effective, relying heavily on the bizarre and grotesque, as well as the natural features of the unique-looking Zero Papas. With its obsession with sex and penchant to rely heavily on gore and ghastly bloodletting, the production comes off as a bizarre bit of filmmaking that entertains above anything else, 
yet blurs the line between the original Frankenstein tale and this new perverted version. It's sleazy and filled to the broom with debauchery, and it never holds back on those taboo aspects or pulls punches when it comes to its violence, and for that I fully appreciate its efforts. If you love gory and stylish early 70s Italian flicks, and you enjoy interesting twists on the classic Frankenstein tale, then you should get a kick out of this weird presentation. In the end, Frankenstein 80 is plain and simply sick and twisted fun. And there you have it, you perverted little weirdos. That is the fun, entertaining, and totally over-the-top and crazy horror flick. That is Frankenstein 80. Just a great Italian flick with a lot of sleaze uh, and so much just entertainment value that you really can't fault it for being what it is. But guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I love hearing from you guys. But until then, I will see you all at the next Lucid Nightmare. Take care.